A bicycle shop has a total of 37 bicycles and tricycles. Each bicycle sells for $189, while each tricycle sells for $99. If there were a total of 90 wheels, how much would the shopkeeper earn if he sold all the bicycles and tricycles? Now for this question, we have to use a few strategies. When we're using assumption method, guess and check, and even tables. Now we assume, all right? We assume all the items were tricycles. So tricycles got how many wheels? Three, right? So I have 37 multiplied by three, you have 111. Now, as you say, there would have been 111 wheels. However, this is an estimate, right? So we have to find the difference. So we know it's over at this estimates because there is only 90 wheels. So the difference will be 111 subtract 90 and the difference is 21. Now this is the quantity over short. So the reason for overshot is due to the multiple differences between the number of wheels one tricycle has to one bicycle because tricycle has one more wheel than the bicycle. So now if 21 are all bicycle, I'm going to use a, a table to show that you can see clearly bicycle, tricycles. All right. Now you see carefully, if I have 21 bicycle, I will have 42 wheels. This is under wheels, wheels. Take note, the quarter quantity must not exceed 37. So if I have 30, 21 here, if it's 22, will be 44. If it's 23, will be 46 and so on. So, I if this is 21, I can have only 16 tricycle here because 16 times 3 is 48. If it's 17, will be 51 and so on. And 54 and so on, right? Now, the total number of bicycle add up must be 37, which I just stated just now. So it happened that the first table that showed 21 plus 16 will give me 37 so I found the exact number of bicycle and tricycle so now what I do to need to do is to do a check now you must always do a check to ensure that the quantity of each item and number of wheels are tallied. So in this case, I've tallied the number of bicycle and tricycle, total 37, so I need to check. So the number of wheels is also 90, I've already checked. You see, 48 plus 42, 90. Number of bicycle and tricycle, 21, 16, 37. All right, so now I need to find the cost. If I got 21 bicycle, it's 189, I will have 3969, 3969 amount from bicycles. 16 multiplied by 99, you have 1584 amount from tricycles. And then I can find the total amount will be 3969 plus 1584 you have a total of 5553 okay now the con concern part is as a student what must I do to present to the answer what should the thing that you need to present first this is important all right you why you make that type of assumption all right after that, you draw a table to show how you conclude 21 and 16, all right? Then, you always do a check to make sure that 
whatever you guess and check is tally with the question. For example, 16 and 21, I have 37. You can see I'm right. Then the number of wheels, 42 and 48, give me 90. It's also right. Once you are there, then you calculate the amount of each bicycle and tricycle. Then a concluding statement, which is important. And that will complete the whole question.